Hey you guys, this is Guy Stevens. I have just built an entire FileMaker system and I've recorded the entire process. Now it's a little bit long for a YouTube video, so what I've done is I've put it on Udemy, which is a really cool website where you can, uh, as a student, you can learn stuff and as a teacher, you can teach stuff like me. So I'm teaching uh, like a course there, which basically teaches you how to build from scratch an entire FileMaker database with contacts, invoices, and all of that stuff. So if that is something that interests you, um, then you should go over there and there you can also uh, download this file itself. If you want, I'll show you all these different sections so you can kind of figure out if this is something that you would uh, like to know more about or not. We've got a contact section where we store our contact information and we can make notes about our customers. We can uh, create tasks for things that we need to do. We've got a website section here and a map section, but I'm not going to go in there because this is all made up data. So that stuff is not really going to work, but it displays your client's website if he has one and the map of where he uh, lives. Now I've got a history tab right here and if I want I can uh, kind of find some history and those are basically the quotes and the invoices and the credit notes that I have made for this particular client. So that's a kind of cool thing here. I've got my task list, list right here where I can show all the tasks and I can show all the incomplete tasks. So these are all tasks that I still have to do. And this is also really handy. This is kind of like a handy to-do list of stuff that I still need to deal with. Then I've got my suppliers where I, this is pretty simple, where I buy all of my products. I can purchase my products here by just um, choosing a supplier and adding the amount of products that I've bought from this supplier. And when we do that, that's really cool. When we sell and buy stuff, I can always see how much I have in stock for that certain product. So if I go in my uh, product list right here, I've got my in stock figure right here and I can see for every product if I still have any of that product in my store, which is pretty handy. In my invoice, I've got kind of a similar thing going on. If I want to add a product to my invoice, I can select it from this drop down. But I've also got an add products from list feature right here. And that way I can kind of see my products grouped by category and that's a little bit handier. And in this list, I can also see if we actually still have that product in stock or not. So if I want to add a, for instance, a fingerless glove to my invoice, I will see, oops, sorry, sir, I can't sell this to you because I don't have it in stock. But if you want, you can have a red dress. And then that gets added to the invoice automatically. So that's a kind of a cool feature as well. I've got some reports going on as well, which are really cool. Um, they show me the income per year and per month so that I know exactly how much money I've made. And I've got a few other reports as well. For instance, a graph which shows you, for instance, for a certain year, the amount of money made per month in more of a visual representation. So if this kind of lesson interests you, um, I've got the link in the comments and then I will see you there.